During the demolition of St. Mary's Hospital in Jefferson City, workers found a time capsule in the cornerstone. KMUH's Jared Austin tells us how a high school classroom got the opportunity to jump in on a little blast from the past. This document behind me is a piece written in Latin from 1904, a document that has been there since the hospital first opened. Here's how a Latin class at Halias High School is becoming involved with the story 115 years in the making. Et a solemni declaratione doctrine immaculate conceptionis. Mark Ray Hagen has been teaching Latin in Jefferson City for several years. P.O. the 10th. And today, he has been asked to do something he has never done. We're listening here all of the, the church leaders of the day. He and his class are helping Jefferson City translate the document. It's also telling us who was the, um, uh, the state officials of the day. Alexander Dockery was the governor of Missouri at the time and signed the bottom of it. And then Joseph Porth is the second one down and he was the mayor of Jefferson City. Ray Hagen says this helps his class realize the importance of Latin. The Latin language uh, is alive. Um, it's not dead and it's not dying. And it seems his students are starting to believe that. Kind of got me to want to take it and I, I definitely have realized the connection between the English language and Latin. This document is already history, but Ray Hagen says his students will make history now. Years from now, um, uh, when, when these anniversaries will come up from the, uh, this, this opening of the time capsule, they will be able to tell their kids and their grandkids that they were involved in, uh, in this project. The document will have its first public showing February 10th. In the studio, Jared Austin, KMUA News.